All right. Um, if you have ever taken a walk through the Scares the Cares dealer's room, uh, then you probably recognize our next guest. If you haven't seen him in the vendor's room, then you've certainly seen him outside taking a smoke break. You've no doubt talked to punk rocker John Wayne Kaminali. In addition to his band, he hosts the popular John Wayne Live DU podcast, and he's the author of Scummer, as seen on TV, Death Packs, and Other Left Hand Paths, and more. Welcome to the stream, brother. What's up, Roy? Roy's boys, Roy for Life, Friday the 13th, part five. The only true uh, American hero that we need. He's not the, the Jason we need, he's the Jason we deserve. Roy, all right. Now that I've met my contractual obligation to Roy, what's up, Brian? Not much, man. How are you? Uh, you know me, man. I'm excellent. I'm here in the Library of Evil, uh, you know, nestled in the east wing of Wayne Manor, where I reside. You know, it's a little bit foggy in here this morning, but, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, there's a, a steam whistle ship coming through here. I'm not Fog in Texas. positive. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I think it's we got some haunted, uh, you know, I don't, I'm going to look into it, though. So it's probably my homeowner's uh, insurance situation. You know, Texas, man, you're like ground zero. For this pandemic right now boy um, we yeah you know i i think of you you and i talked about this a few weeks ago privately you know you summertime you live on the road you are you are at every show every convention you're in the vendor's room selling books um you know you're not doing that this year what are you doing to keep busy um, yeah, well, I was, yeah, I was doing all summer and then this year I was all year long booked and everything has gone. So I, I'm, I'm here, like I said, in the library of evil, doing a lot of writing, uh, doing my podcast, John Wayne lied to you. And then I started another podcast called vital social issues and stuff with Chris and John Wayne with, uh, my good friend and fellow horror author, Christopher Triana. Um, and that's been, uh, going really well it's a lot of fun and that takes like a good chunk of time because we seem to go on about everything we talk about for two hours and 40 minutes like Ernest P. Worrell and vampires <laughs> so yeah so I'm, I'm doing a lot of that stuff I'm trying to stay mentally tough and uh you know just keep working until we figure out a way around all of this or through it um but I've been playing a lot of music as well. Uh, I, I wanted to see if I could play you a song. I think that's appropriate for this horror convention. If you if you can do it in three minutes or less, heck yeah. Here we go. <laughs> all right, everybody. Uh, I miss you all. This is called Teenage Werewolf. Well, I'm a teenage werewolf well, On a full moon night Drink a case of beer. Well, I like to howl and the bite. Oh! Well, I'm a teenage werewolf. Well, on a full moon night. After I drink a case of beer. Well, I like to howl and the bite. You go running through the woods. Me not far behind. When I catch up to you, you know we're gonna, gonna have a real good time. Cause I'm a teenage werewolf, on a full moon night. And after I drink a case of beer, well I like the howl and the bite. And I take you in my hands, and I hold you tight. Wrap you up inside my arms, dance in the pale moonlight. You'll feel the beating of my heart, and I'll tear that ass apart. I've been sniffing around your bullshit. You've been sniffing around my bullshit. Well, I might have peed on your bullshit. I've been sniffing around. You've been sniffing around the gun. Well, I'm a teenage werewolf Long and full moon And after I drink a case of beer Well, I like to howl and the bite I like to howl and the bite Well, I like to howl and the bite Yeah, well, I like to howl and the bite 
So there you go, Teenage Werewolf.